What is up, YouTube? Quadzilla here once again with uh, another little side project here. Uh, I got a Honda Pioneer 1000. It's a 2016. I got this thing as a uh, trade on a, a Rhino. But it's a basket case. It really has been. I've had to replace the wiring harness, the PCM. Oh, the idle motor, throttle body, electric fan. I could go on and on and on. Yeah, this thing had no bed on it when I got it. I picked up a used bed from a gentleman out of Missouri, which is where this thing came out of. No exhaust. But all he had coming off the back up here was some two inch suction line off a water pump going up to these buggers, leaving nothing on the back. So it's obviously a mud runner, but I have a factory air box, but all of the factory piping going to the front under the hood is gone. Well, you do research on these Honda Pioneers and they said if you go to Florida Creek or you get big splashes of water that go up under your hood, it sucks that into the motor and will either hydro lock it or bend a rod. We obviously, we don't want that. So I'm going to take a piece of hose running down, follow the factory line underneath here. I'm going to be bringing it up. Super ATV makes a snorkel kit where they remove this cup holder. It comes out and it'll run up along your pillar here. We're going to try and do it homemade, so stick around and uh, let's see what we can do. I'll get what I can today, but it's awful damn cold here, so I'll pop on to the next video when I get a little bit going. Alrighty, here we go. Now here is a factory air box I got, and uh, I want to make note, these factory tubes were gone. They had cut them up to make their snorkel. Well, the replacement I got didn't have them with it. And, well, just at random, I was at the local Menards Lumberyard, and I seen shop back hose, and I'm like, hmm, gee, I wonder. Guess what? Shop back hose works. The two and a half inch shop back hose because it was like a uh, eight week delay to get the factory hoses and factory hoses were gonna be around a hundred bucks through Partzilla. <sighs> nah, I'll pass and I think they were like 40 or $50 a piece, which kind of sucked, but I can take that, a two inch rubber uh, union. I ended up cutting the union in half, as you can see, and using one for each side, fits there perfect. But that's what got my brain working. How do I come off of this where the factory stuff was? It's two and three quarter diameter. And well, we don't have that. You got like two and a half inch you could get for conduit, but you couldn't get that in PVC pipe. Well, I got this kit from Menards. It's like 25 bucks. Here's the hose, but check this stuff out. That fits almost perfect. So, what you gotta do, I can see, is because your air flow switch is right there, I'm gonna have to take this and cut it right off in here. So this piece is the part going in here. Well, it's still gonna fit a little bit loose, so I'm gonna put four slits in here to where I can hose clamp that, to squeeze it tight to there, and I will use this hose to rod up to the front. Stand by for the next clip. Alrighty, here's number three of my little clips. So, as you can see, I got several slits that I did up in here to get this hose to tuck in. And it goes down above the exhaust, right up in here. I'm assuming this is the factory way. Down through here, through the frame rails. And then it comes up, you can see where it tucks from under the cab. It goes behind the frame. And we got a little cover right up in here. So it'll tuck up there. 
And this has got my fender kind of up in the air so I could get in there. So it tucks up behind the glove box. And as of right now, it's coming up through the passenger cup holder. All right, part four here. So you can see how we got this here. We've got her running up through the frame, off to the side behind the glove box, tucked in between there. So now I got a piece of two inch PVC pipe, two inch elbow, which street elbow would have worked here, but then I had to do a real short piece of two inch to use that two inch rubber coupler. I have it coming up through the cup holder right now. I don't have everything permanent. I got to figure out a way to secure this to keep it straight. But instead of going to the outside like Super ATV does, that would have disrupted my mirror. I would have had to rip it off and take it off. So I went just above where my half windshield is here. So I can leave it like that. And then later, if this thing gets a full windshield, if I keep it, then that actually could be loosened up and spun around to inside the cab, or then it could be cut off and uh, ran up the side. So that's essentially what you got. Like I said, this is that seven foot hose you've seen. All I had to do is just cut the very, very end of that off to uh, be able to do it right there. See how I cut that off. Otherwise it goes down, said tucks, in between the frame. And you can kind of see there where it runs along the frame rails. And comes up. I got a zip tie her off yet too. To right there into the air box. Clamped up. The air fittings back in with trimming that. And uh, hopefully that'll be it. I will do one more once I get everything together and you figure out how I'm going to secure it. Okay, and the final here. I ended up getting a two-inch hanger from the hardware store that would be used for plumbing. I was able to bend it around the post here and then kind of work it together with the screw to just try and keep it from bouncing around a bit too much. But got the front end just about back together. And there's the end result at this point. Now, like I said, if I ever go to do a uh, full windshield, I can simply come in here, loosen this clamp, spin it around, and then it'll be on the inside. Or I can opt to do the Super ATV type and take a hose off of there, wiggle it out, and then run it along that pillar. But like I said earlier, I go to do that, I lose the use of that mirror, so I wanted to avoid that. But I know there's not much out there at all for ideas on these Pioneer 1000s if you were going to snorkel or anything else. Originally, I was going to try and figure out a way to uh, come through the back here and come down. But then I was going to have to drop by this bar and come up the side. And I didn't think that looked too good with the bed and... If you're on a trail, then maybe you would catch it on like a tree branch or something like that. But there we go. Um, feel free to comment. Some people probably won't like it and think it's kind of dumb, but, you know, it is what it is. You can only stick so much money in the machine if you uh, aren't sure if it's worth the money, so to speak. But, uh, yeah, I think it'll work out pretty good. We'll try it out, and if it don't, then maybe I go back to some factory piping or something. But with seeing all that, uh, the issues with the factory piping with the water, I figured this was a uh, good alternative on a budget. All right. Hope you all have a blessed day.